Hi all. In this session, we will see performance tuning of Informatica. In Informatica, uh, the performance tuning is to identify the major performance bottlenecks. So these uh, bottlenecks can occur in in our source database or target, and in the mapping or session or in our system. Here uh, in this video. Uh, our strategy is to identify the different types of performance bottlenecks that we can see in our uh, regular mappings or workflows and uh, how we can eliminate them. Here uh, these are the major uh, perform categorization of bottlenecks, target, source, mapping, session, system. The first one is the target. target database bottlenecks so uh, these are the most common performance bottlenecks occurs when the integration services writes to the target database here these are the different uh, types of performance bottlenecks and uh, how to overcome from them if possible always use uh, bulk operations Wherever possible, we can go go with the bulk loads in the target transformation. We can see in the Informatica session properties. Here, so in the mapping. In the target, the target load type is the bulk. Regularly, we have two options: one is normal, and another one is the bulk load. Uh, we can select the bulk load. When we select the bulk load, the integration service bypass the database logs. Uh, generally, uh, we speed speed up the performance. Uh, as we are not doing any log for the database operations, uh, definitely the performance will be good. Without writing to the database log. Uh, uh if something goes wrong we cannot roll back the database or we, we cannot roll back that particular data as a uh, as a result we may not able to recover operation so here the thing is uh, always we need to see uh, the use of uh, nothing but the advantage when we use the bulk load and the operation that takes to recover the particular session if something goes wrong so based on that uh, we can go with the bulk load operation so to define this bulk load uh, we need to set the commit interval of the particular session for this uh, go to properties here this is the commit interval uh, so whatever the commit interval we have uh, for this number of records the database performs commit operation so to increase the better to to get a better performance uh, make sure to have a large commit interval to increase the performance so that uh, we will we can have less number of bulk loads and the next one is uh, disable indexes and enable while creating or create one of the data loads completes if we have indexes on our target tables uh the data will be get rearranged each and every time so that uh, the data load uh, will take more time so it's better to disable all the indexes that we have on our target table and enable them once the data load completes and other other thing is uh, whenever we have requirement to update the data in the target table make sure we are having primary key created on the target table uh, it is important so that uh, the update operation will speed up otherwise uh, at least in informatica uh, we have an option uh, to set up a primary key on the target load uh, else uh, better to uh, update that option so in the target transformation in the ports uh, you can so this is the target analyzer where on the columns you can define the primary key so at least even if you do not have the primary key constraint in the database level still we can uh, include primary key constraint 
in the informatica at transformation level and other thing is optimizing plot file targets uh, for this if we are using shared storage directly for plot file targets we can optimize the session performance by ensuring that the shared storage directly is on a machine and that is dedicated for only storing and managing the files instead of performing any other task and if, if the integration service runs on a single node and the session writes to a uh, target flat file still we can uh, optimize the performance by writing to a flat file target that is uh, local to the integration service process node and next one is uh, database checkpoint interval as we all know uh, database performs checkpoint operation uh, integration service close each time when it waits for the database to perform checkpoint to increase the performance and decrease the number of checkpoints so that the automatically uh, the integration service improves the performance so nothing but uh, it increases the checkpoint interval in the database and so to identify this target bottlenecks uh, we can use uh, test session and statistics statistics in the session log so this test session is nothing but suppose uh, if our uh, informatica mapping is taking more time uh, suppose take th there is a one mapping it's a test uh, sample uh, sample mapping this mapping is taking more time what we can do is uh, directly we can remove i mean so this test is to verify whether the target load is taking more time or not so here we can directly remove these target loads and include a flat file of flat files so that we can see uh, the before session and after session nothing but the sample test session whatever the session that we have taken with the sample out flat files that session taking uh, the time and this session the current uh, target uh, target uh, as a database that session taking time we, we can compare these two and we can see if there is a difference then that is a definitely a bottleneck on target transformation so in this way we can identify if we have any uh, bottlenecks in the target transformation and the other thing is thread statistics in the session log if you open the session log suppose just i'm opening uh, i'm opening a random session log here we can see the threads and each and every uh, thread uh, taken time so here these are all the different different threads and this is the time amount of time uh, we can compare the previous thread and the current thread the time gap so that we can identify the time that the particular session took so it's a start load session load start time to the target table so this is a uh, start load table and end loading table so here we can identify this gap and we can see how much time uh, the target transformation is taking so based on using this uh, thread also by looking into the session lab we can identify the difference and the next one is uh, source bottlenecks so source bottlenecks are nothing but uh, the time that is taking to read the data from the source database so in general uh, if you see uh, reading the data from the source it's all uh, depends on the indexes that we created on the database of the table so if you have better if you create better indexes on the tables and the key columns then the data uh, read nothing but retrieval quickly so another thing is uh, restrict the source data as much as uh in the initial stage instead of uh, processing complete source data to the end of the target transformation and there applying filters it is better to identify all unwanted uh, data in the source itself well itself and use uh, filters to uh, filter out that particular data here i will show where we can apply that filter it is a source pool filter transformation in the properties it is a source filter there you can apply filter that particular data nothing but the data that you want suppose the product id is equal to 1 or uh, less than some 100 
so it will filter all such kind of data in the source qualifier transformation itself so that uh, only the less amount of data will be traversed till uh, target transformation and the other thing is if we have multiple source qualifier transformations in our mapping those are all pointing to the single source database then it is better to maintain a single source qualifier transformation why because integration service uh, will read all these source qualifier transformation from the source database so that uh, it will uh, cause some extra time to read the data from different different uh, source qualifiers and other thing uh, identifying source bottlenecks here to identify whether the source qualifier transformation is creating any bottlenecks uh, we have some different approaches or strategies the first one is filter transformation the filter transformation is to uh, create a new filter transformation after source qualifier transformation where the condition is such a way that it should not filter uh, nothing but it should not return any records all the records should be blocked by the source qualifier the filter transformation so that uh, till the end of the target transformation none of the records will be processed so if we see the session log there we can identify the time how much time the particular source qualifier transformation took because uh, th there was no other transformation that took time and other thing is read test mapping it is uh, similar to the uh, same filter transformation there what we have to do is we have to remove all other expression transformations just nothing but uh, like uh, taking a copy of the original mapping uh, and keeping the only sources source qualifiers and any other custom joins that we require from the source and remove all other transformations and directly connect the source qualifier to the target so that uh, we can if we run the session we can identify the time that is taken by the source qualifier transformation and other thing is directly we can take a query that we implemented in the source qualifier transformation or mm -hmm. sql override query and run the same query in the whatever the database that we pointed on the database using any other tools and see the time that is taking to return the data by the query next one is mapping bottlenecks uh, we have few other transformations where we can uh, implement few options to get good performance so first thing is aggregator and generator transformation so before sending data to these transformations if we sort the data and there is a property sorted input checkbox if we check that it decreases the use of aggregator catches so that integration service assumes all data is sorted by group uh, and it will reduce the amount of data that is captured during the session and moreover we can improve the performance more uh, by using nothing but if we have multiple uh, partitions we can improve the performance more with this uh, sorted input let me show the property here the property in aggregator transformation properties the sorted input checkbox so if we select this checkbox and the input is a sorted input then we can see sorry yeah, then we can see the good amount of performance in our mapping thank you we'll continue remaining bottlenecks in the next video